Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. How about a moment of silence for another two, for the next two great men who have, who are about ready to be sliced in half by their fucking ex-wives? How about a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant, that fucking warrior, okay, who had an injury to his fucking right hand that would have kept most people out for half a season. He didn't even miss a fucking game. Showed up, hitting all kinds of big shots, an absolute fucking warrior. He is about ready to have to fork over $190 million to his fucking ex-wife. And I'm going to talk to all the fucking women right now who are going, that's right, that's right, you know? This is what I want from you guys this week, all right? I want you to justify the fucking divorce laws in this country. I want you to justify them. I want you to tell me why she deserves $190 million. I want you to justify it. Don't just go, well, because that, that's, that's the law. Ha, 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 that's what the law says, so there you go. I don't want that. I want you to justify it. Like, if I asked you, why is murder illegal, you wouldn't be like, well, that's the law. <laughs> that's what it says, so that's what you do. You'd be like, because life is the most precious thing on this planet, and everything has the right to be alive, and you, you need to respect that. You only get one life, and for someone to take your life is the worst thing you could... You, that's how you would defend that law. I have fucking racked my brain... To try and justify how anybody is entitled to $190 million of somebody else's fucking money. Remember that story I told you last week? Sure, we all do. I'm going to bring it up. This fucking guy got accused of rape, gets convicted, goes to jail. 25 years in fucking prison. They find out afterwards through the, the new DNA technology that he didn't fucking do it. Without a doubt, we had the wrong guy. You know what he got for 25 years of trying to make sure somebody didn't stick their ding a in his fucking doorknob? Didn't he make sense? Whatever. He got $4 million. Four million bucks. This bitch has been living high on the fucking hog for 10 fucking years. You know, can't even hit a fucking layup on a goddamn Nerf hoop set. And she's going to get $190 million fucking dollars. Ladies, I want you to justify. You fucking justify that to me. That is the biggest crock of fucking shit ever. You know what I, you know what I love? And then I'll go, well, he fucked around. He fucked around. Yeah, he did fuck around. So he should have to pay for it. But it shouldn't be $190 million. Come on. That's fucking ridiculous. Some guy gets falsely accused for rape, spends 25 years in Rikers Island. People slashing each other's faces, throwing boiling water on each other. People getting raped, all this fucking shit you got to go through. And you only get $4 million. This bitch is going to get $190 million. I love how it's looked down upon to, to cheat on your wife, but it's totally fine to tell somebody that you love them when you really don't just because of all this shiny shit that they have. You know, look at this. Look at this woman. He fucked around on her. She busted him four or five fucking years ago. The relationship's over. The trust is gone. That relationship was fucking over. Why did she stay? Because he bought her that big yellow fucking diamond? <clears throat> really? That's why she stays? And then what does she do? She wanted out right then. She wanted out right then, but that money was too fucking good, and that bitch stuck around. That big yellow diamond showing it off any fucking where she could, right? And then what does she do? She hangs around like some jaded cop trying to get her fucking pension. She sticks around for 10 fucking years. The second 10 years comes around, she gives herself a Christmas gift. Hey, Kobe, go fuck yourself. By the way, that'll cost you $190 million. All right? In my world, this is how that would work. If, that, if she wanted the entire $190 million, I'm really burning a lot of material here because I'm going to fucking vent about this on stage. So you're hearing this first. 
This is like when you hear one of those Zeppelin songs before they fucking uh, polish it off. All right? This is too good not to fucking say on stage. I have to do this shit. Um, if I do say so myself. Or maybe I just love ranting about this shit. This is, this is how she should get this fucking money. All right? Hey, hey, whatever your name is, Bryant. You know, isn't that amazing how you never know what their fucking names are? You know, because they don't win any fucking championships or do anything. Right? Um, this is how I think that she should get the $190 million, All right? You start off, no matter what, Mrs. Whatever Your Name Is, Bryant, you're getting $30 million. Okay? Which is plenty of fucking money. You raise a whole goddamn fa- family on that, live in a nice fucking house and have a nice car and still have... 20 million left over. All right? So no matter what, you're getting 30 million. You want to get up to 190 million? <clears throat> Let's go down to the Staples Center, sweetheart. All right? We're going to start off easy. You give him a basketball, you fucking have the whole place jam packed with people screaming at her, shaking the signs and blowing air horns, right? All right, if you hit a layup, Mrs. Whatever Your Name is, Bryant, we're going to give you another 5 million. Right, she hits that, you move to the next round. Then you go to the foul line. You want to take another twenty million, you gotta hit a foul shot. And everybody's screaming. Just have a bunch of fucking divorce guys sleeping on futons, standing behind the backboard, <laughs> screaming at this bitch. You hit that, you move to the half court line. You hit it, you get only get one shot, too. Just like Kobe at the end of the fucking game. How he made all this money by hitting the big shots when there was fucking twenty thousand people screaming at him who didn't want him to do it. You go to the fucking half court line. You hit that. What are we up to? What are we up to? That's 50 million, 55 million. We'll give you 50 million. 50 million if you hit a half court. Then you go to the full court. You go full court. If you hit that, you get. You can even hit off the backboard. We don't give a shit. You'll get the other 90. That's how you get your 190. Why don't you fucking earn it? It's unreal. Mel Gibson's wife. No, Gibson's wife, you know, has she even shot a home movie? She stands to get, he's worth, at one point was worth $800 million. She's going to get $400 million, all right? I want somebody, some female, some human being out there with a vagina to send me an email. I want you to justify, justify $400 million. Tell me why. I don't think you can do it other than say, well, that's what the law says. A hot, hot, twisting hair, right? It's fucking ridiculous. Do you know in some states, if you're riding in a car with, with like a girl who's not of age and she's in her bare feet, that's considered statutory rape? Does that make any fucking sense? It doesn't, does it? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, these fucking divorce laws make as much sense as that. They're like these old, archaic fucking laws. This is the thing. You know, there's a lot of disadvantages to being a lady. But you know one of the main advantages of being a woman is that you can be an absolute fucking bum. You can be a bum. You can have no fucking job, no drive. You cannot achieve anything in life. And still come out the other side worth $400 million. Do you know what happens to a guy if he's a bum? He's a bum. He's fucking homeless. Other than Stedman. Stedman, Oprah's fucking whatever the hell he is. He's the only guy I ever saw that figured out how to be a fucking bum. Oh, there's a actually, let's be fair. Kevin Federline. Kevin Federline is a bum. That guy is a bum. Britney Spears even built him his own goddamn recording studio, and he still couldn't make a hit, right? Then they get divorced, and what does he do? Sits on his ass and becomes a fat fuck, you know, getting Popeye's fried chicken off of Britney Spears' alimony payments. (coughs) He's a bum. So I guess it can be done, but come on, who's kidding who? It's very few and far between, you know? I don't know. Maybe women are coming up. Maybe they are making more money. I saw all those Christmas ads, those Lexus ads where these women were buying their guys' cars. And I got to admit, I was sitting there. I started acting like a woman when I saw that commercial. I was like, Nia, why don't you buy me a car like this fictitious couple that we see on television? 
That really bothered me, seeing that commercial where these women were out there buying cars. Not because my male ego couldn't handle some broad buying me a car. It's just the fact that they're putting this out. There was multiple commercials as if this shit is actually going on. As if there's so many fucking women out there buying their fucking men's a car that it's worthy of putting it out there like this is some mainstream shit that happens. Hey, fellas, how many guys, how many, how many of your male friends got a fucking goddamn Volkswagen? Forget about Lexus for Christmas. Anybody? Do you see any of your male friends walking outside screaming like a bitch in their bathrobe, jumping up and down, looking at some shiny new car with a big ribbon on it? <clears throat> Has that ever happened? I bet Oprah did it. I bet Britney did it. Who else? Sandra Bullock, she married a bum. (laughs) That's another guy. You know, those guys ought to write a book. Because they're really treading on some female shit. Like how to live like a Hooters chick as a guy. You know, how to just be an absolute fucking bum and still come out the other side a goddamn millionaire. I got to be honest with you, I couldn't fucking do it. If I was a fucking bum, all right, let me just, let's, let's, just, let's just say I was married to somebody, some lady, right? And she's just running some goddamn empire, coming home every day dressed like fucking Nancy Reagan, you know, goddamn brooch, just to let you know how powerful she is. And, uh... She's buying me all this shit. I, I, have to, I would have to leave the relationship. I, I would have to leave. And she'd be like, but Bill, you have nothing. And I'd be, that's the point. I got, I got nothing. I'm a fucking loser. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm 14 years old and I'm still living at home with my parents. I, can't, I don't have a job. I don't have any goals. I'm not doing anything. I'm just fucking sitting here going to the gym. Okay. I know what everything costs on the price is right. I, sh- I shouldn't know that. Do you understand that? I- I- I'm sick of playing tennis with the maid. I-, I have to do something with my life. This is fucking pathetic. I know I, th- I thought it was what I wanted. I know. I got a fucking my own sports bar. I have the beers on tap. I got the NFL, NBA, NHL, and MLB packages, and I'm still not happy. Because I'm a bum, Mrs. Reagan. All right? I'm out of here. Just give me time to find a job in a one-bedroom apartment or a fucking studio. I have to get out of here. You know, but these broads don't give a fuck. Kobe Bryant's ex-wife is a bum. And she's going to be worth close to $200 million. Do you understand that? Dude, he probably doesn't even want a game of checkers in her life. You know? Maybe she was good at shoots and ladders. Yeah, what does she do? I bet she has some bullshit online business. That's what those rich broads always do. So they can act like they have some fucking business but still stay at home in their fucking jam jams. I'm working on a computer. You know? Going to fucking usmagazine.com all fucking day. You're a bum. Mrs. Whatever your name is, Bryant, you're a fucking bum. You're a bum. Get a fucking job. The fuck is it going to say on your tombstone? Suck the right dick? (laughs) Oh, man, I got all of that one. Uh, All right. Now I'm actually sick of talking about it. Maybe Maybe that won't go to stage. Who the fuck knows? Go to stage. Did I just say that? We're taking this to the stage. We're having a big production.